Hello everybody and welcome to this update video. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer, developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Thank you for joining me again. This week, we are gonna talk about multi, 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 multi page. Uh, but before then, let me thank my supporters who, let's be fair, without your support, um, your financial backing of the work that I do on Inkscape, the features of multi-page just wouldn't be possible. Um, there's no way I would be as courageous to spend this amount of time trying to develop a feature that a lot of developers said was very difficult to do without your help. Um, so thank you all so much. And uh, of course, we this has taken several weeks. And so th thank you for joining me through all of the, up the update videos. And uh, yeah, we, we, I am very happy with the functionality that we have here. If you'd like to help uh, continue my Inkscape work, uh, please do consider joining uh, all of the existing supporters over on Patreon. Um, I'm also available, available on LiberePay. Um, so please come, come and join, join us. Uh, together we can, we can fund something great and uh, who knows what the next fe features might be. Okay, so there are a couple of things to get out of the way uh, in terms of non-page related things. The first is a repair to the uh, export PNG di di dialog. Uh, so some of the signals that updated some of the boxes had become bro broken. Uh, those have been fixed. Um, some of the there were some issues with the swatches and color pa palette, basically the color palette at the bottom. Uh, those were merged and also fixes applied. Uh, there was a special request to remove the uh, license agreement from the Windows installers. Basically, Inkscape is released as GPL, uh, General Public Open Source Free Soft Software License. This is not a, a license that you agree to in order to use Inkscape. This is a license that you have to abide to if you want to distribute Inkscape. Uh, so having it in the installer and having an agree button that you have to agree to the GPL is incorrect. Um, it's rather, we'd rather it not be there at all. So uh, that's gone. And uh, intern James has successfully completed a the, the very difficult bug that we had him work on for uh, moving around text that was flowed and text that was on a path. Um, he's done a really great work in uh, refact not not just fixing the bug because like bugs can be fixed, but refactoring the code to make Inkscape's code base better, so that this particular bug uh, was easier to fix, um, and that's the kind of more in-depth work that like improves the maintainability of Inkscape. So I'm I'm very proud of the work that he's done there. Um, okay, so let's talk about multi-page. Um, I'm probably going to put together a feature video that actually goes down from the very beginning to the very end of all of the functionality and features that are available in Inkscape now for multi-page, but it will be available in Inkscape 1.2, and I'm so excited. Uh, you'll be able to open PDFs, you'll be able to save PDFs with multiple pages. So thank you to all of the people who were involved in the, in the, in the merge request. Uh, thank you to all of the, the people who watch these videos who actually downloaded the, the, the version and tested it. Um, because uh, if it wasn't for your feedback, I think we would be releasing a version of the multi-page support that was much worse. Um, so these are the things that were actually fixed this week. Uh, zoom problems, zoom selection problems, export page, uh, deleting pa pages, um, creating pa pages with snapping, that were right next to each other. Uh, zooming again, uh, snapping indicators, uh, the on-canvas editing of the view box, reordering pages, moving the con content around with that view, view box, uh, snapping to the drawn box, uh, missing icons, deleting multiple page pages, um, batch exporting, but that actually came in with that um, PNG export, that dialogue improvement. Um, selection of paid paid pages, some resized bugs. Um, basically, there was just a lot of bugs. Yeah, lots lots of problem problems. 
Um, but they're all fixed, and the whole thing got merged in last night, and we're done. Uh, that's it. We can now fix the problems that will inevitably be reported about the multi-page. So I am now uh, fully responsible for making sure that the multi-page work will be will um, be fixed. So you can download the, the latest version of Inkscape 1.2 developer re release, which will contain the fun from functionality. And please do continue to report issues that you find in it, because there are likely to be some. We, I probably won't have time now to work on more features, uh, simply because um, it's worth now spending time on uh, bug fixing. There may be a few small features, uh, but just so you know, with the way the cycle goes, Inkscape 1.2 is due for release in April, which means that we have a set of time that we need to be able to work on uh, bug fixing, crash fixing, speed improvements, those kinds of things that uh, will be necessary to make sure that Inkscape 1.2 doesn't suck. Um, okay, so that's all of the actual work that was done this week. Uh, the last thing is, is do you remember last week when I told you about the folio giveaway? That's... Uh, this this is still uh, available and uh, I will be announcing the the winner on December 25th so please do email me now the requirements are you must uh, be using Inkscape obviously you must have a use for this like you're an artist who will you make use of a portfolio you cannot be a supporter of me right I want p people who cannot afford to support an, a developer to to claim this and you, you must email me uh, which part of Inkscape is your favorite, okay? Uh, we've had a couple of entries so far. Uh, thank you, they've been really fun to read. I'm gonna read them out uh, on the December 25th uh, video. Thank you so much for jo joining me this week, and I will see you all next week.